made this and there's your there's your there's your nozzle rocket and then I'm gonna place this well I'm not gonna even do it you can imagine obviously I placed this um, over top of this Hey everybody, it's Stove Talk with Matt. Been messing around and trying to figure out how to make this simple stove smoke free. Um, I used to get worried that all the stove manufacturers, other than those that offer a catalytic stove, are going out of business. And, um, you know, there's not much to buy anymore for, for used on Craigslist. And it doesn't matter because we can make our own. Um, this is the simplest stove in the world. Um, and I think I have a way to make it smoke free. I'm going to do a few more tests, but you just, I mean, and, and also on the, on the cheap, you just get a, a, uh, an ash cl clean outdoor, which fits perfectly. An eight inch out cl ash clean outdoor fits perfectly on a stove that's only two fire bricks wide. And if you just have the chimney going up the back, it's just a, your basic, square firebox hearth no grate and all the air rushes in so aggressively from the front the air moves so quickly up the back that you get a lot of smoke if a lot of air rushes in and it just doesn't have time to heat or superheat it just goes flying right up the chimney and you get a lot of smoke you know that's why you know rocket stoves work when you put in a port whenever you can concentrate the flame into a small area then that small area becomes like a superheated area and I want to show you what I did for a simple stove here that uh, create my phone my first test was no smoke I'll look to your comments I'll keep testing it but I really like this it was Dave's small channel sorry if I, I think his name is Dave um, who eventually made a sauna stove had a lot he had these rocket stove tests where I thought were really cool he gave me this idea he at one point on his stove he put a little nozzle like a you know like a real rockety nozzle like the back of an f-14 and I thought I thought I have I know I have a nozzle in the house in the form of a you know what what would you call it it's a it's a bartending tool you shake up cocktails and shit with this thing I just you just cut the end off it I made this piece of metal that fits over of course just your you know just your chimney there is just your standard five brick um, you know full brick opening for your chimney and for, for smoke I mean if you were making this and you just had fire bricks you'd want to just the chimney you just want it to be one half brick that chimney's too big that lets so much the air come so quickly from the front and up that chimney if you were just making a stove out of fire brick that you would smoke like crazy um, until it got maybe until it got super hot it would take 10 or 15 20 minutes to go low smoke because every all the cool air just rushes up so fast and the air never gets a chance to get hot so the idea is to is to push everything through a small space like a catalyst but obviously a lot different than a catalyst so what I did is I'm not going to show you I mean I, I tested this I'm sorry I'm not going to show it to you burning I know that's not that's taboo in a stove video you got to show it burn but I, I will in the future guys um, made this and there's your there's your there's your nozzle rocket and then I'm gonna place this well I'm not gonna even do it you can imagine obviously I placed this um, over top of this and the results were really really good uh, it went no smoke in just three or four minutes and it stayed no smoke now I've only done one test hold on a second this isn't on right this bugs me there we go I've only done now in the middle of the test I removed the uh, the insulated chimney piece and um, of course that that by itself was not enough to maintain draft that's not a chimney it started to smoke after a minute 
eventually I had I did not have I did not have flames shooting up high like a rocket that's what I thought I'd get I had flames shooting out the top of that um, so per Dave's experiment where he was doing things with like a, it's like a it was called a cutlery holder or a holder of silverware where you have um, something shaped like this but it has th like has like hundreds of holes and he was using that as the nozzle I'm not sure I'm talking about it correctly but he had a he had a a um, like a vermiculite or or a uh, or a fiberboard uh, chimney over top of that, and he said, "Would it would it, would it would it work without that chimney? No, it wouldn't. Something small like this is not enough to act as as a chimney. It immediately started to slow down, and it uh, it, it obviously that's not enough to draw. Eventually, it would start it would start coming out the front, but when you place this over top of this, then not only was my, my draft incredible, it went to no smoke. I was getting flames for a short while all the way out the top of this. So this was like acting to suck um, through this. And this, spa if, you, if it was too small, of course, you'd back up and smoke would start to come out the front. But this, I figured it would be just good enough where all the flame is concentrated in a small space and my theory is this was so hot that it burned up most of the smoke even though it only went through this section in you know not even a, a quarter of one second so one of my tests if I can get to it is I'm gonna place this over top of that but I'm gonna I'm actually gonna insulate that I don't know how if that would make a difference it's probably just minutia but um, Again, guys, if you just just that on top of um, on top of this chimney, everything moves too quick, and you'll get smoke. I think this actually makes a huge difference uh, for because I did I did burn this. My test was no smoke. It was uh, really really, which is really hard to do in a simple little stove like this, unless you have it as a rocket stove or you put in a rocket stove port. There we go. I have the. It's a clean outdoor, it's an 8 inch clean outdoor, but you certainly could use it as your primary door for a small stove like this. I'm always making stoves again for the novice and on the cheap for people. So um, your 8 inch clean outdoors on Amazon, the high flame is no longer there. I'm really kind of disappointed. I love this little door, but there are ones very similar. But they're up, they were, I bought this for like 38 bucks, I mean they're up to like 50 bucks. But that's not so bad for a stove door. Some real masonry heater stove doors uh, with glass, I mean the big ones at certain specialty supply shops are, uh, you know, six, seven, eight hundred dollars. Again, like I've mentioned, fire speaking doors at firespeaking.com are a little cheaper. Started uh, like probably around three hundred or so. But so the fire bricks now are up to um, two dollars at my supplier, two dollars and five cents each, I think, two dollars each. So you just add up the number of fire bricks, two dollars each and you make your own that's it's simply a dryer vent eight inch dryer vent surrounding six inch stove pipe you make your insulated pipe and you get your your bartender shaker and uh, well again how, how long would that hold up in a stove man that's that's the other thing I mean I don't I don't know you have to have a way to replace it but I do think that's necessary for no smoke unless if you're not making a, a rocket stove port um, or, you know, a, a rocket stove port in the back with a rocket stove type riser that takes care of the smoke as well. So, um, I don't know, but you know, this is a each it's a eight eight point five pounds, I think, for each fire brick. So, this is a real stove, you know. And if you had a chimney that went up, in, you know, for six seven feet, that chimney itself would be like a radiator. And the bricks would radiate, would, would take an hour for the bricks to radiate the, out their heat, but it would radiate out heat for four or five hours. Or you could replace the top with a big, with a big piece of soapstone or an iron plate. And it's a very simple uh, stove. Um, you'd want to put that high flame door up higher. And then at the bottom, you could use a half a fire brick gap for your air. Or if you have the time and you have tools like an angle grinder, you just put in some 
two six inch pipes, you know, so you, with, with caps, so you could use the pipes for your air control. Um, and so you don't have to open the door. It's a nice little stove. And, uh, you know, I don't know. Sorry to be long winded. I just wanted to show you that. I'm going to continue testing. Oh, I'll tell you one permutation I'm testing on this next is I'm going to drill four holes. So I'm going to let some air actually get into this via the holes around this. So not everything is going to pass through um, this for superheating. I'm, I'm just, that'll let some cooler air through, I know, but I just, it might increase the draft and I don't even know why I'm trying to increase the draft like what's the point it, the drafts good enough so anyway I'll see you next time guys